So have you ever looked back at something you had planned on doing and thought, what the hell was I thinking? This particular shot looked great in the initial phase, storyboarding and everything. But once you get here, it's such a short shot that, and so many little details here, that I do. I sometimes wonder, what the hell was I thinking? But what I'm doing here is uh, working on animating the blinking bumper lights on the pinball machine. Um, and I'm doing uh, the lights in two ways. One is an emitter on the material on the top of the uh, bumper. And that's what I'm animating right now in the IPO editor. And the other is a little uh, sp uh, spotlight that just hovers over the top to kind of give some light emanating around the bumper as if it's kind of lighting up from the inside. Um, so those are the two things I'm editing or animating here right in the IPO editor. And you might wonder why I'm doing it in the IPO editor, and really the reason is there's no other way to do it, at least in version 2.49. Um, in for many of these um, properties or functions, there you can actually hover over a button or a window in one of the um, <coughs> in one of the uh, button panels and hit I <coughs> to insert a keyframe. You get a little menu and you can choose what kind of keyframe. But for these particular properties you can't or I couldn't figure out <coughs> how to do it. So what I, I'm doing <coughs> and now I'm doing it on the spotlight is I'm going into the IPO editor and selecting under the IPO type at the bottom of the screen the lamp type and I've highlighted the energy property and the type top right hand part of the screen and to um, insert a point you know, I just control left click um, and then with the transform properties panel up when you press N to get that up um, you can actually type in the exact numbers that you want the point to be at um, you can also uh, hit tab to go into edit mode and uh, highlight a point, press G and move it around as, as well. But using the transform panel is a little um, more exact. And that's what I'm doing here, just to turn the light off and on um, at the exact points when the pinball hits the bumper. <coughs> 